it's December 2022. Come to the end of the year and you might have heard, we're transforming from a small history museum to a community hub. There's just so much going on here that we're really grateful for. And so I thought I would share with you my top 10 things I'm grateful for in 2022. Let's get started. Number one, I am grateful for our 40 plus volunteers who have offered over 800 hours of volunteer service this year so far. They have been welcoming guests and helping with programs. They have installed exhibits. They're setting up a reference library. They've been cataloging artifacts, scanning, photographing, writing descriptions. But most impressively, they have moved the entire collection from the west side of the building to a new location with open shelving where our visitors can wander through and see our artifacts when they're not on display. They are movers and shakers, and I don't know what I would do without them. Number two, I'm grateful for more staff. This year, we were able to hire a part-time collection manager, Karen Mensel, and you could really tell the difference. The collection is far more organized, and during the move, she ensured that everything was safe. She's also been training a lot of our volunteers about all the nuances of collection management. Also, this summer, we hired three high school students with a grant from the Illinois Arts Council to help us with our public programs and also come up with some really fresh, innovative ways to present artifacts out in the community. It's a great team and I'm really lucky to be able to work with them. Number three, I'm grateful for more gallery space. It's been interesting to install exhibits that can be viewed both from outside as well as inside. Having more space has allowed us to show more artifacts from our collection and our visitors can learn more about our history and culture. Number four, this year we helped the Macomb Park District celebrate its 75th anniversary and the McDonough Coral Society its 20th. It was our privilege to help them put together their archival materials, conduct oral histories, and celebrate these important milestones. I guess that's what it means to be a community hub. Number five, I'm grateful to have programs again at the museum. We've had quite a selection. We have bluegrass and jazz and creo. We've had the barbershop quartet and harp players. We ended the year with a tuba Christmas concert. I am so grateful that we're able to bring these talented musicians to the museum for you. Number six, I'm grateful for our workshops and especially those who help us engage our visitors in history and culture. We have learned how to design posters and made valentines. We've learned how to weave. We've played old fashioned games and held community conversations. And don't forget, we did write letters to Santa too. It's been so much fun, and I am so grateful that we've had a chance to spend this time with you. Number seven, writing grants. We've been writing a lot of grants this year. They've helped us fund more programs, buy equipment, and even renovate the building. We're grateful for the support from the Illinois Humanities, the Illinois Arts Council, Landmarks Illinois, the Tracy Family Foundation, and the Leedy Family Foundation. We are grateful that you believe and support our mission. Back to writing grants. Number eight, I'm grateful for good advice. This year, we've been working with the architects from HPZS and the engineers from IMEG to create a set of construction drawings that will guide the contractor to complete the renovation work. It's important to us that this space is well designed and well built. It'll help us take care of the collection better and also grow our programs. And that way we can spend some more time with you. Number nine, I'm grateful for tuck pointing. Local Mason Jerry Vodder has made it his mission to restore a 1926 old Ford garage. He not only is making it look amazing, but also structurally sound. The building is gonna look fantastic both on the outside and the inside. Thank you, Jerry. Number 10, I'm grateful for you. You are what makes a community hub. With your volunteer time and your financial support, 
when you engage in our exhibits or participate in a program, when we have these shared experiences where we learn together, that's when we can connect with our history and culture and those that are right next to us. 2022 has been a great year, and I can't wait to see what we can do together in 2023.